Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, scroll down here. Uh, border texture here. We want to make it none. So we don't want any border. There you go. Border disappeared. And the background insets, make them all zero. Because we don't want any insets at all. Why does it look funky? There we go. Now, you can tell, tell it's a little see-through here. I personally don't like it. You can make it a little see-through if you want. Uh, let's go ahead and go to panel opacity and make, uh, I believe, background color to none. There you go. And then the grid, there's no gradient, so we don't have to worry about that. And that's it. We set up our panel. Now, we have to place it and put it where it should be. Now we're going to make a few adjustments here just because you know it's not built at the same resolution. So the easiest way, I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this. Okay, first of all, set for this panel the anchor from point as the bottom left. Okay, because that's where we're going to uh, resize it from. The anchor point is bottom left right here, where my mouse is pointing here. And then uh, we'll go ahead and throw this over here. Let's get it in place. the best that you can wherever it's supposed to be placed there we go now we have it in place now it's the matter of uh, making my curtain where my placements of my buttons and my chat window is is to size it to that now when you're going to do this you're probably just going to try to get it all the way across with panels two three and four first and then place your buttons but for me um, I'm gonna have to resize it to fit my buttons at this resolution so uh, you'll see how that works and I'll help you later out on how to do things so now that we have it anchored to the bottom left uh, we're gonna have to resize it here as you can tell take a look here here's my chat window Okay, and if we change the strata up to high so that we can see this full thing here, the chat window box is here. Okay, so let's go ahead and put it back to strata background. Okay, and then uh, let's make some adjustments. I use it by using this panel width here. So I need to make it a little squishier. So right now it's at 540. Let's make it 520. Click OK. And it went over a little here. Let's make it a little more uh, 510. Click OK. There we go. Now for the panel height, we definitely have to make it uh, longer uh, up and down. So let's make 450. See what happens. No, not enough. Let's go to 500. That's almost there. Let's go to 520. And there you go. That fits just perfectly, almost perfect. But like I said, it's going to be a little off because of the way uh, this was originally built. Let's go ahead and make it 510. There you go. That fits better. Now, let's go ahead and do the second panel. Now, let's go ahead and do panel two. Uh, panel two, you click OK, create it, and there's panel two. Let's make it bigger so we can see what it looks like when it gets imported. All right, and remember, go to panel two and make sure it's unlocked. OK, and then what we want to do is make this background as we did before, none. Go down here and make sure that it is anchored from the bottom left. Okay. And we go back, uh, we got to take out the border. What was it? Uh, oh, make sure the background color is none. Yeah. And go to the border here and then we make a border, uh, border here name none. Take out the border. Make the zero here. We don't want any insets. Okay, and then go back to panel two, and let's go ahead and um, go to texture options and grab that panel art, and there we go. What I'm gonna do is just place it flush up against this one here, in the bottom. If I can't see what I'm doing, go back up to uh, panel two because of all the buttons here. We'll change the strata back up to high, so we can see where it's at go over everything. I wish there was an easy way to just inch it you know left and right but KG panel there isn't. Okay now that we got it in place let's go ahead and put it in the background again so we get whoops background again so we could see all the buttons on top of it and all the elements on top of it and then uh, go ahead and uh, resize it. Now the good thing about it is we could really all we really need to do is once we got it this should match the previous one. It looks like 510 by 510. So let's do that.
and it matches like that. And then you just do it three and four. Now here's the thing. Um, the way I, I'm doing it here is because I already have my buttons set. I'm going to have to probably move my buttons around afterwards uh, for this layout, which I really don't want to do because I don't really play in this resolution. I'm only in this resolution to make movies. Uh, so I'll probably have to make a profile for uh, uh, KG panels uh, and then change that when I go in, you know, into play mode, as well as make a, a profile for uh, Domino's, uh, my uh, mini map uh, add-on and uh, a couple other things just to change it up every time I want to decide to make a movie or want to just play. Okay, and that's uh, basically how you do it. So I hope you liked Layla. I hope you enjoy it once you figure out how to get it all installed and stuff and imported. But uh, I'm glad to uh, share this with you and uh, tell your friends about these videos because it would be nice to have people actually watching these. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, go and ask them on YouTube and I'll try to answer them. And uh, that's it.